Hi, welcome to Gyne Facts. It's a series of medical videos which teaches women everything they need to know about themselves. Hi, let's talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome, also called PCOS. PCOS is a hormonal condition in women who present with irregular menstrual cycles, excessive male pattern of hair distribution, and enlarged ovaries. It's a major cause of female infertility and affects about 10% of women in their reproductive age group. These women usually have other medical conditions such as diabetes mellitus. Most women with PCOS notice symptoms during their first menstrual cycle. Women with PCOS usually present with the following. Abnormal menses. Some women menstruate at intervals of 35 days to six months or more. In some cases, there are no menses for up to six months. This usually occurs as a result of chronic anovulation or lack of ovulation in the woman. Excessive androgen production. Androgens are essentially male hormones and they manifest as excessive male patterns of hair distribution around the chin, the chest, the nipples and the abdomen. Some women also have voice change and hair loss. Other women will present by being overweight. Most women with PCOS are obese and about 90% of them usually are diabetic. Others will present with features of polycystic ovaries. The lady will have an increase in the ovarian volume with small immature follicles that usually fail to ovulate. This usually is found when a scan is carried out. The cause of PCOS is actually unknown, but there are reasons why a woman may develop PCOS. They include 1. Insulin resistance. Like we know, insulin is produced by the body to allow the body cells to utilize glucose. If the body becomes resistant to it, the blood glucose will increase and the pancreas will produce more insulin, hoping to utilize the increased load of glucose. An increase in insulin production increases androgen production also, which prevents ovulation. Excessive androgen production. Women with PCOS have an increased level of luteinizing hormone, which is also called LH, and this hormone stimulates the ovarian ticker cells to increase the production of androgens. These androgens usually cannot be converted to estrogen and they lead to decreased estrogen levels and lack of ovulation. PCOS cannot be prevented. However, its effect can be reduced by doing the following. Number one, living an active life. By doing this, you help reduce your blood sugar levels and the risk of diabetes. Living an active life helps maintain a healthy weight and this reduces insulin levels and possibly may restore ovulation. Number two, healthy eating habits. Eating food low in carbohydrates can help reduce insulin levels. Management of PCOS begins with lifestyle modifications and the possible need for medical or surgical interventions. Let's look at the lifestyle modifications that will help reduce the risk of PCOS. Firstly, it involves reducing carbohydrates like we spoke about and exercising regularly to help reduce weight. 30 minutes of work daily is usually recommended. Losing as little as 5 to 10% of body weight could also help restore ovulation. Let's talk about the medical treatment of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Let's look at regulation of the menses. This can be achieved with the use of pills such as the combined oral contraceptive pills which contains estrogen and progesterone. By using these drugs, the woman will be able to menstruate regularly on a monthly basis and this will also reduce the risk of her developing endometrial hyperplasia and cancers in future. The use of progestin medication, such as mini pills or Mirena, has a similar effect in regulating the menses. In regulation of 
ovulation also for women who wish to get pregnant, several drugs are used to induce ovulation. These drugs are first-line treatment for women who wish to get pregnant, and they include metformin or glucophage. Metformin was originally used to treat diabetes and is known to lower the insulin levels and reduce androgen production. About 50% of women will ovulate while using it. Number two, Clomid. Clomid is also called Clomicin citrate. It's an anti-estrogen that blocks the effect of estrogen on the ovaries and increases the levels of follicle-stimulating hormones, which helps with ovulation. Number three, the gonadotrophins. Gonadotrophins are injectable medications that stimulate the ovaries to produce eggs. In treatment of PCOS, we also talk about reduction of excessive hair for women who have that. Excessive hair can be reduced by using shaving creams or laser treatments. Medications that can reduce excessive hair growth include the oral contraceptive pills, which reduces androgen secretions, and also spironolactone, which is an androgen drug. The last line of treatment for PCOS is surgery. This may become necessary in some cases where medications are not able to restore ovulation. Laparoscopic ovarian drilling is a treatment of choice as it is minimally invasive and reduces the risk of additions amongst other benefits. Thank you for listening. Tell it, tell it.